great man has to say after what was a really impressive performance. Roger, uh, boy, you got off to a flyer today. A quick start in this match. Taylor did press you in that second set. I'd love to get your assessment. It sure looked from our vantage point down in the bunker that you were feeling it today. Feels like tonight with the roof. It very much feels like tonight, I agree. Um, no, I, I think uh, I wanted to get out of uh, the blocks quickly because I knew uh, of the threat of Taylor, his, uh, his possibilities on the serve and what he could do on the return, especially second serve. So. I think I had extra focus today to really make sure I got off that good start, and uh, I did. And then second set was, t was tight, was tough. You know, there was a few chances, but uh, he protected his serve well. And then, yeah, and then it was, it was close at the end, uh, and we had some tough points. It was good fun. And like you said, I think I had a really good feeling out here today against someone who can definitely be very dangerous in the future, and I wish him all the best for the future. Taylor's part of a, a new wave of players coming into the tour. You've been playing long enough at this level to see a lot of new players come onto the circuit. There's Alex Verev, the number four seed. There's Alex Dimonar, who's playing Rafa tonight on this court. And your next opponent, Stefano Tsitsipas, he ended up winning today. I'd, I'd love to get your perspectives, having with your experience of seeing these players come into the circuit. What do you think about this new generation? What's your assessment of them? I mean, they're doing great. What do you want me to tell you? I think they're... Something. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, we all want them to win all the big stuff, but it uh, just takes time, and there's a lot of good guys at the top with Novak not letting go, Rafa protecting the clay. I'm still giving them a hard time sometimes, so I think it's... <laughs> so it's not just easy to, to come through, but they're doing great. And we saw it was catching off winning Paris at the end of the year, and... Uh, uh, Zverev winning the World Tour Finals, they're definitely knocking on the, on the big stage and winning Masters 1000s was the big breakthrough for me back in 2002 when I won in Hamburg against Safin in the finals and cracked the top 10. That was kind of what I needed to know that I could, you know, play with the best, maybe be one of the best. And I think they're doing that exactly right now. So I think they're doing great. I mean, it's a different generation of players. They grew up with different string and racket technology and different coaches, you know, that almost were also part of that wave. So it's not so much volleys anymore as we see it. But my next opponent, actually, he likes to come to net, Tsitsipas. And uh, I like to see that. That's a, so I think it's going to be quite interesting. Can I get your quick take on tonight's match? I'm sure there are a few people in the audience would be curious your thoughts on Alex Dimonar, the young Australian, going up against Rafa tonight at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, Alex has done great. Um, I think we all admire how quick he is and his work ethic. I mean, not that we don't have it, but it, we, you just see it more with him. So I think he's doing a, a, a really nice job, you know. Um, it's never easy to, to compete and, and to win at home, to be quite honest. And he did that sort of back-to-back -back years now, and he showed that he's going to be uh, somebody who's going to be probably at the top for a long time. I mean, is top going to be top 20, top 10, top 5? I don't know, but uh, tonight is going to be the moment to shine, I think. I still favor Rafa just because it's Rafa, and I love the guy, so... <laughs> so I think it's going to be an interesting matchup. One thing that was interesting about this match today, too, that, that I don't recall seeing, uh, we're, we're watching your, your player's box there, and, and one of your sons actually came out and watched the entire first set. Now, I can't tell if it was Leo or Lenny because, you know, they're twins, but who was it and, and was, did you know he was going to stay out and watch? No, I did not even know he was going to come to the stadium. So uh, when, I, when I peeked over and he was sitting there, I was like, oh, wow, okay, so we have a, a special guest for me anyhow. But back, back in the day, you know, it was playing in front of your parents, then it's in front of your friends, that's special, then it's famous people, musicians, uh, there he goes. Uh, the coach is being very serious, I love that, you know? <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, at the end, it's a, playing in front of legends is a thrill. And at the end, it, it's back to basics, and uh, it's playing in front of your family, and that's what it was today. So for me, it was a very special match, and I'm happy Lenny was there in the first Lenny. row today. Oh, that was Lenny. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> That was such a good answer that I forgot what I was going to ask you. Um, oh, I know. We had a special guest in the bunker today. Todd Woodbridge and I got the good fortune to call your match. We also had Nick Kyrgios in there observing you. Yeah. And he was ooing and eyeing. He, he'd never watched a match from that, that uh, position, but he was, to say impressed with you would be uh, an understatement. Um, does that 
do you ever consider like what these guys are thinking about you? Does that ever factor into your mind, or are you just you're, you're going out doing your thing, being Roger Federer, everything's great? You mean <laughs> you mean what you guys think, or I know you I know you don't players. care about what we think. Current players. Cur current players. Um, yeah, I mean I think you do care what they think, you know, because. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say you try to create an aura for yourself, but I think you have to work um, for respect. I think you know on the tour that they know that maybe if you're down the score, um, that maybe it's as simple as that. That when they know they're down in the score, that's going to be really hard to come back. And if they know they're up in the score, that's probably going to amount a comeback. You know, so you work for that. And uh, Nick's a really sweet guy. I love the guy, and uh, I'm happy to see that he's commentating because he's very passionate about this sport, you know. And uh, I love watching him play, and actually, so many others. I'm a big tennis fan, men and women's tennis. I, I watch everything. It's always constantly running, and uh, yeah. So I do care what the others think, and um, I think a lot about the other players too. To start off with. Well, you're welcome in the booth with us anytime. But we'll see you back on the court here in two days. Roger Federer, everyone. Not just entertaining with his racket, but also always wonderful insight from Federer. And even he acknowledged that that was a sensational performance today here on Rod Laver Arena.